is a California based company that's been around uh, for about 16, 15 or 16 years. I've ordered from them once before, uh, about this time last year. It was like, it was like tax return season. Like that's the only time that I usually order from people that aren't like super cheap. Their curve section is super inclusive and they're also more transparent about what they're doing behind closed doors, who's making their clothes. They've had a few snafus as far as ethics, but it was linked back to like a middleman that did the hiring. Last time that I ordered from them, I wasn't super happy with the way that the shipping went. Because your complaints weren't legitimate. <laughs> it was delayed one day over Thanksgiving. Literally the one day this time of year that those guys don't have to deliver packages. Okay. The good news is, is that's the only complaint that I have about Fashion Nova is that they were like a day late after Thanksgiving because I'm a terrible human being. So the last time that I ordered from Fashion Nova, I got about the same amount of outfits. It was about three outfits. Um, the reason being, the reason this isn't like a big haul, uh, I don't typically like the stuff that they put on sale. Sheen will cycle through the things that go on sale. It's almost like nonsensical. Fashion Nova, on the other hand, you can tell why things are on sale. I feel like the stuff that's typically very, very low, it's like, oh, that makes sense because it's not like great. So I typically end up paying full price or like less of a discount, like 15% off, whatever it is for the stuff that I actually like. I do know that I liked the quality and there is one particular skirt that I have uh, that I've worn a few times that I do actually really like. So I know from experience that the material is pretty good. This time around, I also got three outfits. I already took them out of the package. So this isn't like an unboxing situation. Uh, I held them up. I like the material. I'm not gonna go super into that today because I just overall feel that everyone knows Fashion Nova is pretty reliable in that sense. There's a million videos already on YouTube doing Fashion Nova hauls. I am not going to challenge the fact that those girls are way better than me. So if you wanna know the specifics about like, Mm, thread count or whatever. I don't know if that's a thing. I think that's kind of like a, I think that's Matt. I think that's sheets. If you want to know specifics, go watch a different video. I'm just ready to drink my wine and try on my looks and share with you what I got from Fashion Nova. <laughs> I'm calling this one my hot chip look a little bit. Um, I think we all know what a hot chip girl is. I will say that I it, I was a stone's throw away from being a hot chip girl had I not seen Queen of the Damned and gone in like the mall goth direction. So these pants are called the Sedona High Rise Skinny Jean. They're the light blue wash and they are a 2XL, which fits typically, I believe it was an 18 through 20 toe. I'd have to check again. I got these pants for $22.99, which I think is a great steal. I absolutely love the way that they feel. Uh, it's really hard for me because I, I already like to wear my pants, even if they're not meant to be super high rise, I already like to wear my pants as high rises. Um, I don't want anything on my stomach <laughs> at any times. So this is probably the most aggressive high rise pair of pants I've ever actually bought. They're super thin. Uh, and I'm okay with that. Honestly, that's what I like. I live in a hot state. It's I'm, I'm, a, I'm an obnoxiously sweaty person as it is. So I like my pants to be as close to leggings as possible. And I would say that they've done a really good job with achieving that with how thin and stretchy these pants are. So I spent $6.98 on the shirt, which on their website is labeled Rouge. Which is a frill or pleat of fabric as decoration on a garment or home furnishing. Yes. Rouge and time top. It's obviously black, as you can see, and it was also a 2XL. I like this shirt a lot. It is super stretchy. Uh, once again, that is always a win for me. It just feels like your boyfriend's like the one shirt you love to wear that your boyfriend has. I will say I don't love this, uh, like how long these straps are. Uh, the model, it looks like she has it kind of nice and tight and it's like this tiny little bow, but let me show you. That's about as good as it gets. I can't see, I don't think it looks good. I don't love that. <laughs> Yeah, just do the Oompa Loompa thing. That's what that's what girls like. That's what. That's what... Oh, it's so bad. 
I mean, like, everything about it's not terrible, except that, like, everything about it's terrible. So, this top is called the Pamela Turtleneck Long Sleeve Bodysuit. It is an eggplant, and it is a 2X. The original price on it was $17.99. I know that I didn't pay that much for it. I got to buy one, get one. So, maybe I did pay for that one, but not the black shirt. I'm not sure. But regardless, that was the original price on it. I did not pay that much. However, I will tell you, I love this shirt, this bodysuit, uh, and I would pay that much for this. I'm tempted to go back and see if they have more colors. It's super comfortable. I'm really into onesies right now. I need to stop calling them onesies because they're called bodysuits. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love you. I love you, onesie. This particular shirt, it has like a turtleneck on it. It's not like super terrible. Um, it's not super tight or anything like that, which is good. I have more than one chin to take into consideration. I love the color a lot. Uh, eggplant in general, good color. I'm into it. I have a lot of lipsticks that match that color. However, I decided to pair this with a pale pink uh, just because of the shorts. Now, I don't hate them. You probably do, but I don't. <laughs> they're called the Annabella Bike Short. They're multicolor, <laughs> obviously. Uh, all I saw on them when I ordered them for less than $9 was that they were stretchy, they were comfortable, they had good reviews, uh, and that they had flowers and possibly butterflies on them. I did not know about the night uh, that now resides on my left thigh or his beautiful maiden. So they're like Renaissance themed. I think it's Baroque. Baroque? What does that mean? Is I think that an artist? I think it's Baroque style, not Renaissance. Is it an artist? It's a different... I honestly, God, don't hate them, even though they're not very flattering on a body type like mine. Uh, obviously, I carry a lot of my weight in this, like, tire around my stomach, and I'm fine with that. I really don't mind. However, I don't need a literal Renaissance painting to draw more attention to that area of my body. I will definitely wear these around my house. They're very soft. Uh, and on the right body, I think they would be cute. I don't hate the print. I think they're very whimsical. And honest to God, if I had the right white shirt that would fit over my tire stomach and then, like, a denim jacket, I think that, I think that would be a good look. <laughs> Garden Goddess floral set. I got it in a 2X and I spent $15 on it. So obviously I had to save the best for last. I'm feeling myself in this. I feel like a starring role in a Quentin Tarantino movie. I feel great. I love this outfit. I think it's incredibly flattering on me. I have a black really from the front, which is where like people are gonna be looking at me from the front. I'm aware that I get bigger when I go to the side. So from the front, I look great. I think it looks great. I love this outfit. It's incredibly comfortable. I feel like I could rock, I mean, it's more comfortable than some of like my workout clothes. <laughs> yeah, I'm super stoked to wear this. Comfortable, stylish, it makes me feel like a million bucks. I wanna go dancing. I'm gonna go gallivanting. I wanna go uh, <sighs> rob a bank. Like, I don't know, what do they do in Quentin Tarantino movies? That's what I feel like. I feel like an extra in a Quentin Tarantino movie. I considered pairing this with like a red lip and honestly in the future I probably will because I'm absolutely obnoxious but for this particular video I decided to do a pink. Uh, I think it's a good look. I feel also that this kind of goes into like a mod direction as well like a 1960s mod look. I'm about it. I paired this with some costume jewelry. I also got it at Antique Fear. It was like a dollar for this necklace. The earrings are from the dollar store. So I mean, this whole look cost me like less than 20 bucks and I'm pretty stoked about it. So that's my Fashion Nova haul for this week. I'm super excited about all of these outfits except for the weird barouche. Barouche? Barouche? Barouche. Barouche. What era is that? Like what years? Oh, Baroque. Baroque. I'm confused with Renaissance art, but Renaissance art is fundamentally noted by its fusion of Christianity and like... Uh... Baroque, not Renaissance. 
Uh, I did not particularly like that set of pants, those bike shorts. I will be wearing them around the house quite frequently because they were very comfortable. And if that was your, if this, if you have the right body for it, you should get that. That's it. That's the whole thing. That's the whole video. Uh, I feel great. I'm going to go, uh, what do, what do people want Tarantino movie? I'm going to go. Fuck your boyfriend. I <laughs> can't say that on YouTube. Y'all okay. don't want to make me, y'all don't want to make me do <laughs> Y'all gonna make me. Y'all gonna make me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right.